thing about presidential debates that gives rise to some fascinating theories about candidates cheating to get an advantage. Chief National Correspondent Ed Henry took a look at some of the conspiracy theories now ricocheting across the Internet. Watch. It all began with careless whispers about that bump in the back of Hillary Clinton's red jacket during her debate with Donald Trump. By the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? Social media lit up with rumors that bump was a back brace desperately trying to hold Clinton up for 90 minutes to avoid a repeat of that plunge after she got pneumonia. Others jumped on this photo appearing to show a wire in her ear. Charisma News claiming the wire was, quote, meant to match her skin tone almost perfectly, theorizing it was a hearing aid or even an anti-seizure device, though Clinton's staff told us today she wears no such thing. The conservative blog Gateway Pundit suggested it was, quote, an earpiece that Hillary could have used to receive feedback from advisors during the debate. The nonpartisan PolitiFact, which normally fact checks candidate claims on serious issues like taxes and trade, took up a reader's suggestion they check out this conspiracy theory. PolitiFact ruling that the charges about a Clinton earpiece amounted to a pants on fire lie. Some of Donald Trump's most rabid partisans simply can't accept that he didn't have a great night. So they're searching for conspiracy theories about Hillary Clinton uh, having a secret listening device or engaging in hand signals. Oh, yes, there were charges of Clinton collusion with moderator Lester Holt. Rather than waving her hand in the usual motion for more time, Clinton rubbed her face. And the blog True Pundit called hours of tape and said she never, ever used that move in previous debates. Clinton critics suggesting she looked more like a baseball manager, signaling something secret like a bunt or a stolen base, as if this was a sign of something crooked between Clinton and Holt. Gasoline got poured on that fire when video emerged of a so-called mystery man greeting Clinton as she arrived at Hofstra University. And the same mystery man reappeared after the debate to grab Clinton's notes from her podium and then chat up Holt. Except the identity of that man is not so secret. He's Brady Williamson, a longtime political operative who's been involved in debate negotiations for the last seven presidential elections. No. Clinton aides called me back to say Brady Williamson has done advance work for all of their debates in this cycle with Bernie Sanders and now Donald Trump. And when I posted about this story on Facebook, former White House Press Secretary Joe Lockhart replied, Britt would know who that mystery man is since he traveled the country with him for over a year in the 1980s. Brady Williamson was on the Walter Mondale campaign with Joe Lockhart and a young reporter named Britt Hume. Yeah, not so young. I you remember that? I, I remember him very well. In fact, when I saw, the, uh, saw these things on the Internet about him, I... I recognized him immediately. And it, it's I'm, not a I'm conspiracy. Said, I'm, I'm sorry to say that it took me a while to remember his name. But I finally <laughs> you did. You might have forgotten something. Yeah, I, mean, I get forgetful <laughs> at my age. Well, so much for the mystery man. So much for what was he? He was called cleaning man. Wasn't he? he was cleaning. Because he was. And by the way, out. he was taking notes out of there. I think some people thought notes were uh, were right. taboo. Right. Notes Is that were true? allowed. Donald Trump could have notes. These all these ground rules are hashed out. And in fact, that's what Williamson has done on on these debates going back seven election cycles is negotiate the terms they were allowed to have they were notes. allowed to have notes so when he took papers away some people or... thought maybe there was some script that was going back and forth with Lester Holt from NBC and Hillary Clinton it was just simple notes you know what I think, I, have, I think that was a good report but I have a feeling it's not going to put an end to these theories. no I think there's going to be more conspiracy yeah, theories in fact hey Brett I was wondering uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was <laughs> I wanted to give you a signal I, I, was a rap, I was trying to give you a rap signal all right Ed thanks my friend <laughs>